You may know our next guest as the voice of Ham in the Toy Story franchise, OK? Uh, the, you you recognise the voice. We played a little earlier. That man right there, you know him. You know him, you know his face, you know the voice. John Ratzenberger. John, great to see you today. Welcome back. All Good right, to see you. Me, old son. Now then. How you doing, Stuart? <laughs> not bad. Not, not bad. I will not try to use an American accent. I, I'm, I'm past that. <laughs> no. Now then, it, it, to, today is National Skilled Trades Day. This That's is your correct. mission. I know it is to bring skilled workers into our economy. I put it to you. We don't have enough skilled workers right now to build our roads and bridges, do we? No, no, you can throw all the money you want at the infrastructure, but nobody's showing up to, uh, you know, weld the bridges or pound nails because we canceled shop classes 30, 40 years ago, and we never gave young people a taste of what it would be like to work in those jobs. So, and now with the pandemic, a lot of skilled uh, tradesmen have retired, like the trucking industry, for instance. They're desperate for drivers, even that. Uh, the RV industry, the RV well, industry will pay you to move to where they are and then teach you how to build or inspect or repair an RV. But they're desperate all I, over I, the I country. Gotta yeah. I, I, got, I don't get it because the jobs you're talking about, electricians, welders, people who work in carpentry, that, they make a very good living. I mean, they are oh, highly a, paid people. And these yeah, jobs and are going begging. And people are not filling them. I mean, yeah, what does it to take? Pay back any student to get... loans. Okay, there's that involved as well. How else do you explain the total lack of skilled people coming <clears> into <throat> our economy? Uh, how do I explain the lack of skilled workers? Yeah, where hey, are they? Well, <clears throat> uh, because we didn't give them a taste of what it's like working with your hands for. Me, when I was growing up, we had shop classes, and I got a taste of carpentry, and I gravitated towards it. And lo and behold, that's how I made a living between, well, prior to acting, but between acting jobs in the beginning. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I just finished uh, building a, a, a rocking chair for my three-year-old granddaughter. So it's a skill that I could take anywhere in the world and get a job the next day. So if you're an electrician, a bricklayer, a if you can bake a cake, you've got a skill that you own. But uh, time and again, you see movies and Hollywood uh, shows people like that with skilled tradespeople uh, as being idiots yeah. or being yeah. lesser than everybody else. And why would a young person seeing that portraying for the portrait of that trade want to well do said. that? Well said. Bring back the shop class, says John Ratzenberger. Sorry I'm short yeah. of time there, John. I've got to run because I've got some breaking news here. We'll get you back real soon. Let's